Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the villa are three other collars like yours. Collar 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your collars are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some try to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward, they were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. Too many, many. This place is dangerous. And its quarantine measures, its hazards, have claimed many failures upon failures. Do you think I wanted to place collars on you to ensure compliance? No. If robots could have done this, I would have sent them. The Sierra Madre is a complicated lock. Cracking it open requires human hands. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screen guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity traces of unknown substances and returns it home, the bunker. The process is automated and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever return. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even the villa's toxins. 
and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive as surely as the caller will. It is a hollow rifle, a weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that tool will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. Yes, the inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air, copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants. Something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland and deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. The air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die, so be careful where you step. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time, if healthy enough. Others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino, much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparky, hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. 
I'll leave the method up to you. I am short on patience, and you are short on time. Assembly stations, schematics are stored within, dispenses with unlock codes. They use the chips scattered around as batteries, alloys and raw material embedded in the shell. They resemble the vending machines of Mojave, but they are crafting devices of tremendous versatility. Once a noble convenience, now, now they are a means of survival. Use the chips to power them. Select from the holographic display. The device will assemble it. Ask. Unfamiliar with the legend of the Sierra Madre? The casino exists. You are one of the few who look upon it. We are standing as the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage. The villa lies in the shadow. The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that has aged poorly. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this. I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Your piece of rock or trash will help you, I've ensured it. It can latch onto the signal of the callers. And tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's caught. Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He's docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from your trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. A long story. FEV a virus is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one, turned them into a super mutant long ago. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you?